Hey, what up guys? So what I'm going to be doing in this uh, set of tutorials is that we'll be going through week by week and uh, going over the concepts of all the OpenGL stuff you'll be going through in CS3 330. Uh, the difference is I'm not going to be using the samples. Um, the provided sample code, I, in my opinion, is pretty bad and makes it hard to actually learn the concept. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from scratch. Uh, build up our projects and if you follow along this video if you decide for whatever reason to use the samples you should be able to use these videos as a way to, to gain the information you need to uh, move forward with your uh, with the samples as you work through your project um, personally I'm just going to be starting from scratch like I said and I suggest you do the same if you want to take the most out of CS330 and you don't want to hate your life uh, start from scratch, follow uh, learnopengl.com as you work through everything. Uh, I'm just going to be hitting stuff a little bit quicker uh, in this series. So the assignment for week one, if I am correct, because I'm going through this class at the same time as you guys are, or at least while I'm recording this, these videos. The class this time, uh, all it's going to do is I believe it requires you to open a window. Uh, yeah, you're going to open the window and you're going to change the name of the window itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that up. I'm going to do that assignment right now. I'm going to set it up and show you what it should look like by the end of it. And because I can't give you the solution, obviously. Um, and then we're going to start from scratch and write it all ourselves to get to the same result. And that way you'll know the entire process along the way. So let's just uh, do that now. Okay, so to start, I need to set up the project I've got the um, yeah let's make a new folder here we'll call this CS 30 we'll call inside this folder we're gonna make a week one all the samples because I, this is not what I'm gonna use in the end and we're gonna say uh, week one week one samples so the I don't like the way they have everything set up, but uh, if you download the the resources, you're going to get your OpenGL sample folder here. And you're also gonna get a set of libraries. Uh, they called the folder OpenGL. Okay, so with this, I'm just gonna rename this libraries. And what I actually want to do, and this is something you should do as well, and um, is move this libraries folder into your um, samples folder here. And we're just going to do this, uh, make it easy. So you should have Glad Glue, GLFW, and GLM in here. Okay, so once you have your, your folder structure set up, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to open the solution folder, and we got to set up all the different libraries. Make sure to hit the upgrade button uh, for all of that and it will just load the solution file. Now, the, the problem you're gonna have when you come in here is it's not gonna find any of the header files and it's also not going to be fi find any of the libraries, uh, well, the single library that you need to have linked in here um, in order to uh, get it going. All right, so uh, I assume it's done loading. Let's just look inside here. So what you're gonna do is if you look in your source.cpp here, and there's gonna be a lot of red squiggles because it doesn't know what any of these are. So the first thing we're going to need to do is set up all the .h files. Uh, to begin, what we need to do is switch this to x64, because we're on a 64-bit platform and there's no reason to do x86. Uh, Right-click your project name, not your solution, but the project OpenGL sample. Right-click it, properties, and then inside here, make sure to select all platforms up here. It usually defaults like uh, active or maybe Win32. Uh, always select all platforms because it'll just make it a little bit easier for you. Uh, at the worst case, make sure to select the x64 or whatever platform you're building for. Uh, first thing, include directories. This guy here, what we're going to do is we're going to edit this and we are going to add a folder. Now, solutioner, um, so we're going to use a macro called solutioner here. And this is why we put the library folder inside our solution or inside the OpenGL sample folder. Because what this comes out to, if you look here, is it actually uh, expands to uh, your OpenGL sample folder. So there's another one called Project Dir, um, 
but we use so solution dirt is this top level folder so you see OpenGL sample and our libraries folder is here this is the solution dir project dir is one deeper where your actual project files are so anything inside your project so since we're inside here we're going to add all of the .h files that are in here so the first one is glad uh, here all we need to do is add this glad folder so libraries glad so in here solution dir libraries glad we will add one more uh, so the next one we need to do is so before we, we move on i'm going to say just add this uh, let you know this now glad and glue do basically the same thing they're both they both handle loading they're both called like opengl loaders so they look for the loader from your graphics card on your system and then load all of the functions to, to communicate with your graphics card um, you don't generally ever want to mix the two. And if you try to mix the two, you generally get errors. So this is something that I know people run into in this course is that they uh, later on, you get a camera.h file, which you can actually see um, referenced over here. Uh, that camera.h file uh, asks for glue, um, but other files ask for glad or vice versa. So uh, you want to pick one, glue or glad. Uh, I'm, I choose glad because it's newer. Um, you want to pick one and whenever you see glue, or glad, you always uh, change that uh, header file to the appropriate one that you're using. So we're gonna skip glue. We're gonna do glfw now. We want this include folder. So we'll just take glfw include here, uh, just here. So we don't want the thing. Again, same thing, solution dir glfw include, and one more, uh, which is, I believe, glm, uh, oops, libraries. In GLM. And here you just want to add this uh, GLM, this GLM folder, the, the top level folder. So, the, what this does, and you're going to see it happen, um, I'm going to do it uh, one step at a time so you know what this is doing. So, what, what this is going to do is it's going to tell the compiler, Visual Studio, where to find all of these uh, ink include files, all the .h and .hvp files. So when you hit apply, you'll see that all these red squiggles go away. Uh, most of the red squiggles go away. I screwed up glfw, apparently. Let's just go back in there and see what I screwed up with glfw. glfw include, edit. Uh, I do have glfw here. Oh, I forgot to put libraries. That's what it is. So libraries slash glfw slash include. Okay, now that should fix it. Red squiggles go away. And you'll see that now our project is pretty much good to go. You'll, if you go through here, you're gonna see that here, again, it's asking for glue. This is what I was just talking about. Uh, since we're using glad, just make sure to change this to glad.h. There we go. And then if we look at glad.c, there should be no problems. So now if we try to build this, we're gonna get errors. So you can see here, uh, ignoring all the bad C++, uh, skip, 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 here, unresolved external symbols. Uh, symbols. So what this means, uh, you'll notice they're all glfw files. So what this means is that we're missing the glfw library implementation. So for example, uh, if you, you, the reason we have .h files is because it creates the, the um, the declarations of all of the, the types and, and functions and classes and stuff that you can use. But the CPP files hold those implementation files. And those are generally that's generally what, what uh, is the meat of the library. So what this is saying here, uh, unresolved external symbol, means that they've they you're using a declared symbol, GLFW in it, GLFW terminate, all of that stuff. You're using those those um, symbols, but the CPP files or library files have are not found because we haven't linked them. And that's the next step of the process. So right click on Again, on your OpenGL sample here, hit properties. And then inside here, what you're gonna do is go linker and then just right on top of linker here. And in here, additional library directories, uh, we're gonna do the, the, basically the same thing. It's gonna start with solution there. And what we're going to grab is the glfw stuff. This time we want uh, one of these ones here, which actually have the implementation. So you want the library, so lib vc 2019. Don't worry if you're using 2022 or 2023 or whatever version of Visual Studio. Um, if you're using one of the older versions, 
choose that version. If you're using uh, a newer version, just use 2019. It should be fine. Uh, we'll find out in just a second. Um, then we add this. So glfw, and we actually don't want to forget to put libraries again. And hit OK. And when we apply that, that should uh, give us the link we need. No? Why didn't that do what it was supposed to do? Oh, uh, we're missing one more thing. So in here, uh, we go properties. Uh, and also, again, in linker, uh, input here and additional dependencies here. We will actually want to add one more inside here, and it's real dumb. glfw3.lib. Uh, so you'll see that inside here, the glfw3.lib, we're going to add that. So I believe this is going to give us a static library, which means that we won't need to copy a DLL over. Um, we'll see that in a second if, if I'm right or wrong. This glfw3 dll, that's a dynamic link library, which means this dll file needs to be copied over in places. So let's go static because it'll make things easier on us. Let's try building this again. And it still didn't freaking work. What the fuck? Oh, library machine type x86. So, all right. So as I was, uh, as I was saying, I was trying to build for x64, but these libraries apparently are for x86. So uh, let's just add that now. And you'll see it actually builds now, uh, and it works. It, it actually built. So um, ignore my uh, previous um, statement about putting this to x64. When we in the follow-up video, which is going to be, uh, I'm going to actually going to separate it out from this when we set this up ourselves. Uh, we're going to actually be able to run this in 64-bit mode because we are cool like that. So when we're going to hit play, and we'll see if this works. Now we hit play. A window shows up and you can move around, it's got some lights, and you officially got it working. Now, once you have the project working, it will, um, you'll be able to do what you need to do for the assignments. Um, I, I don't remember. Um, so your assignment, I believe in week one, is the, the you know, let me, hang on. All right, so the, the title bar on this window, you're going to want to change that to whatever it tells you to make. Uh, and yeah, I think you want to put your name in there or something. Anyways, so that's how you set up the, the sample uh, project that they give you. Now, it, if you want to learn how all this works, we're going to go through all that. Uh, again, you're going to want to uh, go to learnopengl.com and go through this uh, getting started window. So like they, they're... They're, the project that they're showing you is actually goes all the way down to, like I think it goes, it sounds like it goes, it looks like it goes all the way like down to basic lighting. Uh, crates, 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 crates. I remember there's somewhere, some crates that around here somewhere. Uh, lighting match, materials, multiple lights, multiple lights, check multiple lights. Yeah, crates, all right. So it's basically this demo here, um, see. They, this is basically the demo that, that we just set up. Um, so I believe the course, this course will take you from getting started pretty much all the way down to the end of the lighting section. So that gives you an idea of uh, what we're going to go through. Now, when you work through uh, the course itself, now let me, let me make sure I'm not lying to you. Let me look at these assignments. So week, so week two, you're going to get to about textures or shaders. Uh, week three, you're going to basically stay here, but what you're going to do is put a pyramid in this in this uh, area. Uh, week four, you're going to do uh, camera, this camera section here. Week five, you are going to do textures. Week six, you're going to do lighting, and week seven, you're going to be doing all your your project stuff. And you're gonna, from what I understand, you're gonna we're gonna be building this project as we go. But that's it for today. If you're interested in the learning all of this stuff in depth, uh, tune in for the next video where we will start setting up a project from scratch and all of this code is gonna look uh, much better than this. All right, so until next time, see ya.